anybody who fell asleep. We only have 14 more left if you just woke up. Uh, anybody here ever watch a show called Mad Men? Oh, yeah. You know, at the end of the show, they often play a, a song that runs while the credits do. And I was watching Mad Men, it's over, and the music starts. He hit me, and it felt like a kiss. Oh, yes. That's right, you heard me. He hit me. And it felt like a kiss. And I'm saying to myself, what is with that? Yeah. So, so I can assume yes. that it's a B-side, but from some no-name band that never went anywhere, and they just put it on as an oddity on Mad Men. But just for the hell of it, I looked it up. That song was recorded by the Crystals, the number one girl band in the United States at that time. They had He's a Rebel, the Do Ron Ron, oh, yeah. and they were hot stuff. And... To add in, to make it even worse, it, that song was written by Carol King and Jerry Goffin, oh and yes. produced yes. by Phil Spector. She, it was on a trajectory to go right to the top of the charts. Fortunately, I think a few of us must have listened to it and said, "What?" <laughs> but uh, hmm, did you turn it on? Oh, we got Bingo! Thank you. You're not a kid anymore You're not a kid anymore I started thinking about I had abandoned this medley years ago I wrote it during the ERA campaign in 1972 But after hearing that on, on Mad Men I thought, well, you know, maybe we are still steeped in this crazy culture. You're not a kid anymore. When people ask of me, whoa, that made it worse. Anybody have a guitar that's in tune? Yeah. Thank you, Ruth. Back to microphone. The only thing I hate worse than uh, tuning on stage is playing out a tune on stage. Those aren't the only two choices. It's okay, you, you hit that wrong string and it sounded like bliss. <laughs> Funny? It must have been funny. <laughs> All right, I'll get my momentum back. <laughs> You're not a kid anymore. You're not a kid anymore. When people ask of me, what would you like to be? Now that you're not a kid anymore, I know just what to say, I answer right away, there's just one thing that I'm looking for, Ow! I want to be Bobby's girl, I want to be Bobby's girl, yes that's a personal career goal I've defined for my life in the 21st <laughs> century. <laughs> If I was Bobby's girl, if I was Bobby's girl, oh, what a faithful, thankful girl I'd be. What a faithful, thankful girl. I love him, I love him, I love him. And where he goes, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. He'll always be my true love, my true love, my true love. From now until forever, 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 I will follow him. <laughs> Ever since he touched my hand, I knew that near him I always must be. And nothing will keep him from me. 
He is my destiny. Yeah, that's what he is. I love him, I love him, I love him. And where he goes, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. Johnny, get angry. Johnny, get mad. Give me the biggest lecture I ever had. I want a brave man. I want a brave man. Oh my God, you know it. <laughs> Johnny Summers was a Grammy Award winning vocalist and they made her sing I Want a Caveman on this record. And to add insult to injury, it was, it was adorned with a kazoo solo. <laughs> Johnny, show me that you care, really care for me. To know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. Just to see him smile. I like worthwhile. <laughs> yes, to know him is to love, love, love him. And I do, 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 and I do. Where the boys are. Uh, wow, how do you play this guitar? These strings are so heavy. <laughs> Then we could be married. Then we would be happy. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Thank you very much. This is one of the most exciting uh, round robins I've ever been to. The Hula Hoop exhibition was extraordinaire. And I love the juggling. We yes. had a, we had an amazing night here. Yeah.